G'day everyone, today we're going to go through uh, service on this 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander, it's a ZL and more importantly I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the routine maintenance required uh, warning to reset your service schedule, this one right here. So I'll show that first because it's most likely why you're here and then we'll do the oil change. Okay, first things first I've turned the key back off and we have a button just here for information we can push that and it goes straight to our service interval. If we hold it down, we start to flash and then we press it again and we can go clear, press it again, it should be gone. Turn that key on. And there we go, it's gone. It's that easy. Okay, with that all done, we'll go through and we'll do the engine oil and the filter. That's all we'll be doing at the moment. It's just the filter and the oil. And I'll show you exactly where everything is and how to do it. Okay, firstly, worth mentioning, this is the 2.4 petrol engine we're working on today. We do need to remove this underbody guard here, this fiberglass guard. Uh, it's held on by four bolts and it's held on by four clips as well. We just pull the center out of those clips and they can drop out. We can push the shield backwards and it'll drop out under the car and just push it out of your way so we can expose all the bits we're going to be working on. We will replace that blue filter there and there's a 17 millimeter plug just at the rear of the engine there we're going to drain the oil from. Now when it comes to oil I have gone a little bit thicker than recommended. Mitsubishi do recommend 0W20 fully synthetic oil for this car. I've gone for the 5W30 synthetic and a Z411 filter. Got a 10 litre bucket under the car here because it is a five litre capacity and we want to give ourselves enough wiggle room to get the bucket out. Uh, I've reused the sump plug gasket because I thought now it's good enough it would go again. 30 foot pounds on that, uh, the spec is 26 to 36. And I've just done the filter up hand tight. It came off by hand and it should go on by hand as well. These pins, once we've got it held up with the four bolts, these pins just push in and we pop them in like that, get all four of those in, and we can tighten up the bolts once all that's square and get that fiberglass cover back on. Filled the engine up, took just under five liters. I've gone a little bit over the full mark on the dipstick here for good reason, because we have an empty oil filter there we need to allow for. Start the engine up, warm it up, and then turn it off and let it sit. And as we can see here, the level is bang on. Thank you very much for watching.